Hello and welcome back to Steve at Bucks Coins. Today I've got a commemorative to show you. The five pound coin that's just come out of Alfred the Great. It's a blue carded version from the Westminster Collection. A little bit about Alfred. He was born in 849 and died on the 26th of October 8... Sorry, he was born in 849 and died on the 26th of October 899. He was King of the West Saxons between 871 and 886 and King of the Anglo-Saxons from 886 to 889. So West Saxons 871, 886 Anglo-Saxons 886 to 889. He had three brothers and they reigned before him. He won a decisive battle against the Vikings at the Battle of Eddington in 878. As part of the peace treaty, they created what was known as Danelaw in the north of England. There was an historian and a scholar called Assa, who was around at the time, and he wrote all that we know about Alfred. He was born at Wantage in the in the royal borough of Wantage and he was married to a lady called Alice Smith, who was the daughter of a, a Mercian nobleman. He died from an unknown disease, but as I wrote of the disease, it was a long illness and from the description that Asa gave, the doc modern doctors have diagnosed that it could have either been Crohn's disease or hemorrhoids. His grandson, King Endred, also suffered from a similar illness. This coin was inspired. Whoa! Stay. There we go. This coin was inspired by a priceless Anglo-Saxon relic, and the rever and the reverse this reverse was actually designed by a sculptor by the name of John Ben Bergdahl. The design itself was taken from this priceless Anglo-Saxon relic, and on the relic it was inscribed. Alfred ordered me to be made. So this is the five pound coin and this design, the central part of the design is the one that was on the relic. It is a stylized portrait in the style of what was uh, of the drawings of the time of Alfred the Great himself that was on the jewel. So let's take a look at the reverse, sorry the obverse. The obverse is a standard five pound coin obverse with the JC portrait, the fifth portrait of the Queen. This coin, as I said, centre part has the motif or the actual um, portrait of Alfred and around the outside circle it says Alfred the Great 871. It's now two, and you got this year's date of 2021, the date of issue. Overall, I actually like this coin and the design on it. I wish it had been, say, a £2 coin rather than a £5 one. We seem to get, be getting an awful lot of £5 coins just recently. And they're not the cheapest things to collect. Okay, so this is a blue card version. There are other versions available at the Royal Mint. You can buy the normal hang bag at £13 plus postage. And then you've got the silver proof versions. And also a gold, a gold proof version as well. These are available from Westminster, these coined, coined one, uh, carded ones are. And they're also available, I believe, at uh, the Coin Club. 
this one will be going into my collection of bunk cards so if you just give me one second I've just got to get the book Okay, this is current, my current book. As you can see, we have all sorts of valuations in here. Now, that's a five pound set. I'm waiting for the final. Let me just take you out a little bit. Zoom you out a little bit. Whoa. Right, on this last page of the five pound coins we do have a slot left open but I have two Mr. Men there so I'm waiting for the third one to come along there. On the, on the page before we have the Royal Albert Hall and now we have our next five pound coin to go in there and that's the Alfred the Great coin. So there's the Alfred the Great coin I've still got to come for this album, the £5 piece of rabbit, and there's a £5 one out today, which is the Queen's Beasts, so they'll both be coming into this. The Queen's Beasts one is, I believe, one with all 10 beasts on it, from what I can gather. So that one will be coming, and that one will, those, both of those will be coming into this uh, book. I've also got to go on this page, which is the non-UK ones which has got the uh, Dickens coin and the Alice in Wonderland coin I've got the Mr. Ben coin which I believe is Jersey coming so this book is going to get a few more coins added to it in the next month or so I hope you've enjoyed this particular video if you have can you please give me the thumbs up and also if you've if you're a returner and haven't yet subscribed or this is your first your first um, journey to this channel could you please subscribe and allow me to take you through my journey in coins for those of you who are about to do a hunt I hope you have a successful one and you find the coins you're looking for for those of you who have bought coins and are doing I hope you can get them for the price you want to pay and until we meet again on this channel, bye bye for now. Ta-da!